What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D or Techno Dad here and in today's video we're going to be checking out an awesome new soundbar called the Command Bar. It's by Polk Audio and it's got Alexa built in. We're going to check it out right after the jump. And I'm back. Now if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about 4K, home theater and audio products and how to set them up properly, you should consider subscribing because I'm here to help. And don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when I do a live stream to answer your questions or when the next video gets released. Well now that that housekeeping's out of the way, let's get into it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so today we're checking out the Command Bar by Polk Audio. Now this is a sound bar, but unlike other sound bars, this one has Alexa built in. Like they literally put an Alexa dot right into the middle of this thing and that's pretty cool. It retails for $2.99 and pre-orders are being taken on Amazon right now. Link is down in the description. The command bar releases June 30th and Polk Audio contacted me to make a pre-release video. I think that's super cool and I want to take this moment to thank everyone at Polk Audio for sponsoring this video, so thanks guys. And since Polk Audio is sponsoring this video, I thought it'd be really cool to give away this command bar to one of you viewers at home. So definitely look for giveaway instructions later on in the video. Well, enough talking. Let's go upstairs, see what's in the box. Yeah. All right, everyone, the box for this thing is really odd shaped and awkward and oblong. So the best thing to do to open it is to put the command bar box down on the ground. Now the box indicates that we need to open from the bottom. So we open up the flaps and slide the styrofoam out of the box. And then I got it up on the table. First thing we see when opening is the Polk audio literature. There's a quick start guide, a getting started with Alexa card, and a wall mount template. When opening both pieces of styrofoam, be sure to hold the subwoofer as it will fall out of place, and we don't want to damage it. In the box, we've got the remote, which comes in a nice soft bag. And I really like this remote. It's got like recessed main volume and raised subwoofer and voice volumes. Also the transport controls are raised and the three audio settings like movie, sports, and music are also recessed. So that's really cool and what that means is once you figure out which buttons are recessed and which buttons are raised, you don't have to look at the remote. Good job there, Polk. Next we have a six and a half foot high speed HDMI cable, a six foot digital optical cable, now if you're going to use this digital optical cable, be sure to take the plastic caps off the ends of the optical cable before connecting to the soundbar like I've done here. We get two AAA batteries for the remote. There's a power supply for the soundbar, a power cable for that power supply, and an angled power cable for the subwoofer. Let's check out some specs of the command bar. The command bar comes in at 43 inches long, 2 inches high, and just under 4 inches deep. I really like that Polk did a great job keeping the command bar 2 inches tall due to the fact that it should not obstruct your view at the bottom of your screen. Here I have it sitting in front of my OLED TV and as you can see it sits perfectly in front of the TV without obstructing anything on the screen. Fantastic. The command bar has two oval mid-range woofers. They measure one and a quarter inch by three and a quarter inch. And it also has two one inch round tweeters. On the back of the soundbar, we have all the IO. IO is just a fancy phrase for inputs and outputs. Go figure. From left to right, we have the power port, USB port, a subwoofer pairing button, HDMI one input, HDMI output ARC, and a digital optical input. Now on the far right we have an HDMI 2 input. Now the second HDMI is in such a strange location and that's there to accommodate streaming sticks like the Amazon Fire Stick. On either side of the connectivity section we have the keyhole mounts for wall mounting. On the bottom we have two rubber feet that keep the command bar firmly in place. If you're setting it on a TV stand or dresser, it's not going anywhere. Alright, that's the sound bar. Now let's check out the subwoofer. Now the subwoofer uses a six and a half inch downward firing driver with a two inch port. On the back of the subwoofer from top to bottom, we have a standby LED, 
a bar sink LED, a bar sink button, and the power port at the bottom. Pairing the subwoofer and command bar was really easy. I plugged in the command bar and then the subwoofer. Before I could press the bar sync button on the back of the subwoofer, they had automatically paired. You can tell it's paired by the solid green bar sync LED. The Alexa ring will become orange as it asks you to pair with your Alexa account. To do this, you need to download the Polk Connect app to a device. I used my iPad to download and then I had to create a Polk Audio account. Next, I had to log into my Amazon account and give permission for the command bar to gain access. I signed into Alexa and I was good to go. Now to test the command bar, we need a little bit of equipment. I pulled the 55 inch TCL R6 from the master bedroom along with a PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, and Sony X700 4K Blu-ray player. All right, now that all the equipment's here, let's move into an optical connection. We need to make sure the plastic is removed from the tips like I showed you earlier in the video. Make sure the flat part of the connector is up to match the port on the command bar. When you plug in the optical cable, you should hear it click. If you don't, there's a chance it may fall out. Now on the side panel of the TCL, we see the optical output and the flat part is facing the rear of the TV. Make sure you know which way the optical plug needs to be orientated for a proper connection. Now that it's connected, we need to make some changes in the TCL settings. Press the home button, scroll to settings, scroll down to audio. Under TV speakers, we need to uncheck the box and change it from enabled to disabled. Spit if an arc is already set to auto detect, so we are good to go there. Now if you guys didn't know, spit if is the optical output. I jumped into the YouTube app and started playing with Alexa commands such as changing the volume. Reiterate this fact, I always recommend Alexa, you guys go out. turn the volume way down. You, like me, if you're in like a really weird situation, and I live six hours away from a- Alexa, family. turn the volume all the way up. You have to like take into consideration. So definitely make sure you guys, uh, where you're buying from, has a good internal policy. Now what's interesting is when you have the volume at max. Alexa can't hear you. So they added a button at the top of the remote and when you press it, it brings the volume down to a level where Alexa can hear you again. My wife wanted to know what I wanted to do today. Alexa, volume to 50. And I wanted to watch Westworld. Of course, I want to play some Call of Duty. I think that's really cool and definitely a smart addition to the command bar. So there you go, that's how you hook it up via optical connection. Now let's check out how to hook it up via HDMI and ARC. All right, we connect the HDMI cable supplied with the command bar from the HDMI TV port on the command bar and plug it into the TV for the specified ARC HDMI input. In the case of the TCL, that's HDMI input number three. Now we need to press the home button on the TCL to make one more change in the settings for this to work properly. Scroll to settings and then scroll to system. Next, scroll to control other devices, CEC in parentheses. Now your TV may call it something different. Just look for CEC in the menu system. The TV will search for nearby CEC devices and we see pull command, ARC disabled. Scroll down and select ARC HDMI 3 to turn it on. And if you search CEC devices again, you'll see Polk Command ARC active. We should be good to go now. Now that CEC is turned on, changing the volume on the TCL remote changes the volume on the Polk Command bar. Very cool. I plugged the other devices into the HDMI inputs of the command bar. Now it's important to note that when you do this, you will be needing to change the input on the command bar from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2, depending on your source. Let's say you have cable box in HDMI 1 and you have a Blu-ray player in HDMI 2. You will not be changing the input on the TV. That will stay at HDMI 3. In this case, I'm not sure what your HDMI ARC input is on your TV, but in the case of the TCL, the TCL stays on HDMI 3. If you're using smart apps on the TV, use the smart app. And when you want to get back to your Xbox or PlayStation or 4K Blu-ray player or cable box, you have to make sure you're on HDMI 3 or whichever HDMI input is the ARC 
on your TV. So in this case, I have the Xbox One X plugged into HDMI 1 and the Sony X700 player plugged into HDMI number 2. Now let's move into HDR support. The HDMI inputs and outputs of the command bar do support 4K HDCP 2.2 and supposedly supports Dolby Vision and HDR10. So let's check it out and see what we got. I was able to confirm that the command bar does support Dolby Vision. I used the Valerian disc through the X700. HDR10 is supported. I used the Revenant through the X700 player. And HLG is also supported. I used the YouTube app on the X700, went to the HDR channel, and played my favorite HDR demo. And we get HDR on the TV. Fantastic. I also tossed in Call of Duty World War II on the Xbox One X, and we get HDR gaming on the Xbox One X through the command bar. I also jumped into Horizon Zero Dawn on the PS4 Pro, and yes, we do get HDR as well. All right, now let's move into connecting via Bluetooth. So to do this, we press and hold the Bluetooth button on the remote control to put the sound bar into discoverable mode. You'll find it in your Bluetooth list as Polk command bar. Once you connect, the command bar says you can just say connect my phone when you walk in the room. You are already connected without having to pair the device again. So I went to title and played your favorite song in mine, the Techno Dad theme song, Forever. Let's take a little listen. Music mode. Stop music. That was cool. Alexa, play Pandora. What do you want to hear? Underworld Radio. Get in your Underworld Radio station from Pandora. Underworld Radio. Disconnected from Bluetooth. Now earlier I had connected my Pandora account to my Alexa account and when I was done playing my song from Tidal, I asked Alexa to play Pandora. Then she asked me what station and I asked her to play the Underworld station. And sure enough, the Underworld station started playing. Now this is really cool. You walk into your living room, you just say, hey Alexa, play Pandora. What do you want to play? Play the Underworld station. Okay and then it just starts playing some awesome techno. All right, now I know you guys want to hear an audio demo, and of course, I wouldn't be Techno Dad if I didn't do an audio demo, so I put a link down in the description because I had to make a separate video due to copyright, so the audio demo, of course, is going to be John Wick, the bathhouse slash nightclub scene, one of my favorite scenes, really good scene because it's got a lot of dynamic shifts in music and changes of volume and there's people screaming, glass shattering, gunshots, soft music, loud music, all kinds of crazy stuff going on in that scene. And for that audio demo, I did the TCL speakers and then I used the command bar and both of them are set to 50% volume. And in the video, I switched back and forth so you guys can get an idea of how anemic the sound is with the TV speakers and then how full the sound is with the pole command bar. And just to describe it for you guys, bass was plentiful and the treble was very transparent. I can hear glass shattering and other things happening on screen that I wasn't really getting from just having the TV speakers on. So definitely check out that demo as soundbar really just brought that scene to life. Overall, I think the soundbar is great because it's got a big sound in a small package. And with the addition of Alexa, this is like a no-brainer at $299. It's a really reasonable price, and I think 
there's a lot of you out there that don't want to fiddle around with a full-fledged home theater system and this is going to be definitely a package you got to check out. Alright guys, so now let's talk about the giveaway. I'm sure a lot of you sat through this video just to hear about the giveaway. So the giveaway is only going to be for the United States, I'm sorry, but the box is just ginormous, okay? Like that, it's huge, it's huge. It's like as big as me, like literally. Like the box it came in is as big as me. It's nuts. Anyway, the giveaway will last one week and I will release another video on June 30th announcing the winner of the command bar. Click the link down in the description and that'll take you to the entry form for the giveaway. And once again, I'd like to thank Polk Audio for sponsoring this video and giving me a sound bar so that I can give it away. That's pretty awesome. So thanks guys. Well. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad. I'll see you next time.